How's it going everyone? This is Sean from the Scale Model Car Guy channel. And before we get the video started, as always, I'm going to thank all my subscribers, all my old subscribers, all my new subscribers. If it wasn't for y'all, I would not have a channel. Uh, appreciate y'all a lot. Uh, mean the world to me. And if you're not a subscriber, it's free. It's free. Don't cost you nothing. Always leave a like, uh, share if you want, uh, leave a dislike, you know, thumb down if you want, you know, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. All right, with that being said, y'all know that I go to George's house, a uh, modeling buddy of mine, he's been a mentor of mine for like 30 years, so, somewhere around there, maybe more, I don't know, been a while, we've known each other for a long time, and y'all know I always do a little series on him, where uh, I go to his house and uh, film some of his builds. We talk about them, you know, look at his collection, stuff like that. And uh, the guy's been been doing this from the get-go, you know, from the early beginnings of of the model model mania, I guess, you know, from the from the late 50s, early 60s. I mean, he's been doing it for a long time. And uh, he's a wealth of knowledge and uh, yeah, it's just awesome always hanging out with him. Uh, the guy used to have one of the biggest collections I'd ever seen, uh, you know, and since he's retired and everything, you know, he sold off a crap load of stuff. He don't have near nothing what he used to have, but but I've, I've gotten him building again. He, there for a while, he quit building. He wasn't doing nothing, and uh, I've gotten him to building again. I, I, I'm hoping I'm getting the spark back in him. You know, it don't matter how old you get. It's the love of the hobby. Uh, just keep on trying. I mean, I know your eyes fail, your hands fail, you know, and you might not be able to build like you used to. I get that. But, hey, if you can't, build like you did when you was a kid. It don't matter. Just build them. Models are meant to be built and meant to have fun. All right. With that being said, oh, and another thing, you know, I put a video up to where me and George and um, my son, my wife, and, and all of us, and Drew, and a bunch of us, we went over to the model show in Clarksville, and uh, that's where my son lives, about an hour away from here, and uh, we went to a model show that last weekend or whatever, and I showed you all the ads that I had from that, you know, uh, and I forgot to show you one, and uh, I was going through a box of uh, built junk parts models, and this was at the very bottom in a bag. And uh, I got it for 10 bucks. What's special about this, it was nasty. It was, the tires had turned white and it was filthy nasty and it was just old, you know, looking and everything. Well, I got this thing out. I cleaned it. I polished it. You can see the polish. I've cleaned it up. This right here, guys, is a very rare promo. It's a 1962, uh, Chevy Impala and what's rare about this promo is this right here look there this is not a kit this is a promo look it up 1962 was the only year that they had the engine and I think this and the hard top had the engine in it uh, and this is the promo I, I looked up the color of this I can't remember the name of it right now but I looked the color up I mean everything this is this is factory paint. This is a promo. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen a promo with the engine in it. I didn't even know there was such a thing, a promo with an engine, but it is. I got that for $10 in that box. But All right, so with that being said, uh, watch this video. It was, a, it was a fun time hanging out with George, as always. Enjoy, guys. George, what kind of kit you got on the bench today? junk junk <laughs> it don't look like junk to me well it's uh the little red car there is one of those pro sportsman monogram jobs and it's the 50 55 ford now i started that kit back when that kit came out i, I don't remember when that would have been like 96 yeah 97 98 something long in there that's when i started the kit <laughs> one and, of your uh, long lost projects you threw in a box and well you saw it sitting here a couple of mm -hmm. months ago and it was covered in dust and you said you need to finish that yes so i've been kind of playing with it trying to get things to go together and 
Uh, I've got the front grill and the rear bumper, but the rest of the parts, I have no clue where they are. I don't even know where the decals are. Oh, shit. But uh, that's it. Uh, and you've done a damn fine job so far. Well, uh, it's, uh, as we discussed here a while back, I'm going to call this a, a four-footer. Four-footer? Yeah, it looks real good from four feet away. <laughs> Well, I beg to differ. I think, <laughs> I think this is where me and George always butt heads. I, I, I seem to think it looks pretty damn good, but that's me. But George's a little hard on himself. Oh well, I, I guess I expect too much out of the kit. Uh, most of this has been done for quite a few years, but. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Your paint still looks pretty good for all these years. Let's, let's move this over here to... Still got a good shine. Well, it was molded in some sort of funky red like that anyway. And yeah. Then, uh, that's some testers paint through an airbrush, and it was... I don't remember what the color that was. Like fire red or stoplight red or something. I can't remember, but... I shot over it. Didn't prime it. Didn't do anything. I just shot smoothed over. the body up and shot that over the the, the red body. Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks pretty good. And you know, a lot I, of people say you have to prime her. You don't always have to prime her. Not it just always. Depends, depends on depends what, what colors you're going for. Depends on what you want on a finished product, what you, right. you have to do. I don't really like the way this thing sets on I, there. I've never figured out. That's got a cutout right there where it should set this way mm -hmm. but nothing lines up and if you get it up here where it should it lines be, up it don't look right yeah sets up too high don't it looks like it. that's probably why i quit working on it yeah <laughs> it made me mad but uh it, it'll be a shelf queen it'll oh, look yeah. okay on the shelf oh yeah and uh you know we're going to talk about this one right here i know you say it ain't no big deal but by god that is a big deal that's that's a gosh damn Audi, and it's badass, and that's the rally car. Uh, those, I'll, if you ever get to watch any of the videos, the sound of those is unreal. Mm -hmm. They don't sound like anything else. That's the box, guys. That's the Tamai rally. It's been out of production for oh, a number of years now. It's been out for a while. But tell us about it, George. Well, there's really nothing to tell. It's just out of the box. Uh, well, you had to order decals, I know. <clears throat> When I bought that kit, it's a little old. You know, mm -hmm. it's from probably 1983, something yeah. like that. Uh, the decals were, were toast. I couldn't, usually, to me, decals are great. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get those. They'd break apart, it'd explode. And uh, I found these on, I think it was Spot Model. Spot Model out of Spain. Somebody from somewhere, they... they uh, had reproductions for this kit and now uh, those cost about twelve dollars mm -hmm. you know they weren't cheap but they lay down very well but they're kind of thick but you can't really tell it right there yeah uh, I'll give it a shot of clear and polish her up to keep them down you know when right. I get finished here and uh, she's looking good that undercarriage is really looking good too got a little weathering to do under there yet mm -hmm. and that's the uh that's the car that was driven by uh michelle mouton a pretty good looking french girl back then yeah uh of course she's old as i am and we both look like hell now but she was a good looking oh yeah that's yeah. that that's an ugly <laughs> son of a bitch right there guys i'm telling you Woo! did that camera break oh man if, if she looks like that i feel sorry for well, her i'm gonna tell you what if, that, <laughs> if the camera didn't break youtube will ban your channel after that. <laughs> oh no we're gonna get banned now yeah that's what you get for putting my face on there <laughs> you've done better off putting that face on oh there. alfred <laughs> actually that's really not a picture that's just a mirror that i'm looking in you know <laughs> <laughs> that's you when you're young that's right <laughs> that's right tell us about the old coronet over there why well, i don't really i can't remember i don't even know who i bought the decals from but it, you know dick landy 67 coronet well so, you know uh, what i'm gonna tell you right now i think i remember 
years ago saying that, and it's still not fucking finished. You're no. Talking, <laughs> you're talking about, what was it, late night, early 2000s, somewhere around in there? Um, no, I, w- I started that one about, uh, no, actually, I think I started that one about 2017. Oh, was it 17? Was yeah. it that long? Or that early? Yeah. Uh, I just know I've been seeing it around for a long time. It's not finished. Well, it's been sitting in here collecting dust since then. Can I pick it up? Yeah. Stuff falls off of it, but it'll go back on. Let me move this one up over here. You always got to ask a guy before you touch his models. Number one rule. <laughs> <laughs> i got to try to remember where all the parts are to this. I'm, I'm, I've got two or three more of these kits I can rob them out of, I guess. But uh... Now, I like the way you made that uh, breather up there. That's, you put the screen on it. Uh, I saw a picture of one of his. And I tried to kind of replicate what he had done. Now that looks good. That's some that's some scratch building crap. I love to do right there. That's uh, that was a killer car back in the day, but I don't think he really ever won much with it. Yeah. <laughs> it was an SSB car, and I think Sox and Martin boys usually stomped on him pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah, Sox and Martin. And uh, well. Herb McCandless driving one of their cars probably stomped on him a little bit, too. <laughs> Herb was pretty tough. Ooh, ooh. Here we go, guys. Now, that's a beautiful undercarriage. George, finish this son of a bitch up. <laughs> See, this is a problem, guys, with George. I have to come over here and kick him in the ass to get stuff done because he got on the lazy side. He gets he gets a little, I don't know, He'll he, I, either that or his mind goes squirrel and and he goes to something else before he finishes something. I can't do that. I got to start it and finish it, or it'll never get done either. Well, I, I was that way at one time myself. But uh, you know, you get older and then you get sick. You'll you'll see what I'm doing. Yeah. You'll stop. You'll sit around and look at them, and you just don't. And when you got a hand that's that's uh, arthritic, mm-hmm. and you can't hold stuff, and it falls down here in the carpet monster. Uh, there's probably five thousand dollars worth of photo etch material in this carpet <laughs> I've vacuumed up because my fingers fall apart and I can't yeah. I can't grip it. But uh, oh, yeah. oh well, it's it's all part of being. Yeah, as long as I'm alive, I'll keep your ass building. <laughs> well, I'll keep gluing stuff together, uh, but uh, I'll just be slow. <laughs> well, yeah, you are slow, but you know that's you. <laughs> I'm fast, Ellie. You can tell it by my bills, but it's all good, though, you know. Well, I was, when I was in sixth grade, I was quick. I mean, I could, <laughs> I could buy a tube of glue when I went to town with Mom and have it built by the time we got home. <laughs> there you, know, you go. In the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't look very pretty, but I built a lot of yep. them like that. <laughs> all right, let's see here. All right, George, let's talk about these kits. George, what are these? Well, these are some kits from... 68 and 67 okay uh i've been watching some videos and there's been some guys trying to determine when kits were shrink wrapped and when they weren't yeah (coughs) now they don't have to believe me but back during this time i was there yeah (laughs) and i remember what was going on right now this is we we talked about this kit last time right and you've already built it yes this is an original 1968 corvette annual box yes this astro one was was released in 1967 Mm -hmm. now they're both in the same size box yeah same style box and i think it's kind of funny that the artwork on both boxes was done by don greer yeah i love his artwork it is beautiful artwork now, uh, the kits that I bought in 68, annual kits, were sealed. Yes. They were shrink-wrapped sealed. This kit that was in 1967... Had the tape on had it. Had tape on it. And that's not any that anybody put on it or I put on it. Right. That was taped. Yeah. From the factory. And lots of kits I bought back in the day were done that way. Mm-hmm. And... I don't have fingernails to amount to anything, but I know kids that I built models with would go in the mom and pop five and dime in different stores, 
they had a fingernail, they would run their fingernail under mm -hmm. there and cut the tape. And that's why you'd buy kits a lot of times when I was a kid missing parts because mm -hmm. they'd pile them all in one box and then go buy the model. Yeah. I know I know some of them that did that. <laughs> but that's 1967, they were taped. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of, some guys that are collectors will understand, there's a no-name box. That had the 56 Fords, 49 Fords, uh, 57 Fords, 57 Chevy. Would have a picture of the car on the top, mm -hmm. usually with a white background. That was, I call them the no-name box. Yeah. And then on the ends, it would say uh, whatever they call the car, you know. Right. And, and is, is a gas or version or something. Those were taped. The cartoon boxes came out in 69. 69 uh, they were shrink wrapped yeah uh, these were shrink wrapped uh, I don't know if you have any of the older 67 annuals but they're a smaller box and there's a checker flag looking across the yeah. bottom yeah those kits were taped yeah all of them I never saw one of those <laughs> sealed sealed the only ones I did see sealed someone sealed them and they had something else in it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and we've kind of been down that road right here. Oh, yeah. But this may clear up a little bit for some of the guys. 1967, they were taped. 1968, these started coming shrink wrap. That's just on AMT, though, right? Just AMT is what I'm talking about. Now, I will say this. Early, early in 1968, or even late 1967, I bought a 68 Torino Fairlane. Mm -hmm. It was taped just like that. Later that year, they were all shrink wrapped. So I think that's the transition period for AMT. Yeah. MPC was already shrink wrapped. Mm -hmm. They were coming that way back in the 65, 64. Uh, monogram. I didn't really buy a lot of monogram kits back then. Back then. Uh, uh, by 68, I saw monogram kits shrink wrap, so they were probably shrink wrapped before. No, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, the ones that I did buy was like the, uh, the little T mm -hmm. and, uh, maybe the green Hornet, yeah. uh, the little hot rod. I don't remember those being shrink wrapped when I bought them. Right. Cause those were old when I bought them. Yeah. Some of those are the flat boxes. So they yeah, were those... small flat boxes. They were from anywhere between 1960 and 64, and I don't remember them being shrink wrapped. Right. Uh, but questions on a and T, I've heard a lot of people talk about when that was done, and I really believe that right there will show you that the transition time was between 67 and 68, yeah. right in that period. Because this old Astro One, I don't know how many of you guys have ever seen this kit, but that's the only time I ever saw it issued right there. Right. And this is this is actually it's an unbuilt kit, and you can tell the decals are starting to disintegrate. Oh yeah, they are. Those are bad. That's a Corvair engine, huh? But uh, yes, this this was uh, an experimental car. It actually existed. Yes. With a Corvair engine. It looks like a Corvette, but... It does. Uh, and I think it's kind of funny. The front of a Corvette mm -hmm. in 2000 yeah. looked like this. Right. You notice on the side of the building, it says GM 2000. That's pretty neat. And this kit came out in 1967. That's awesome. And I think the car was designed in 65. Mm -hmm. And they built it, the prototype, in 67. And that's that's quite a design feat right there. I mean, that that's really something for 1967. Right. Uh, I've always liked the car, and I've got two or three of these. Yeah. And a couple of them in built, unbuilt condition, and this is my, my mint kit. Right. Except for the decal. But uh, anyway, that's that's something for, for the guys to, to discuss now. I'd like and, to see you build one of those. Uh, well, there's one around here somewhere that started. I could get it out and show you, but uh, pause that a minute, and I'll try right. to find it.
All right, George. Now, what are, what are these right here? Yeah, I found them. You found the. This is this Astro One car. That's your I, parts kits. I've I've got some a couple of them that I, I built or bought that were built up. Yeah. Now I really think that this particular car right here. No, it's painted. That's not the one. I thought it was one that I had built from 67 and original. Mm -hmm. I think it's this one that I started stripping. And uh, I don't know, maybe I don't have the rest of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but these were spare parts to that. And I, uh, I never could get the black to come off. Yeah. So the reason this looks kind of funky is it went through my bead blaster. Oh. Uh, super fine yeah. medium, and that, that cleaned it up a little bit. <laughs> but this car is, is so cool because uh, the uh, the way it, it works is the rear end hinges this way. Right. And as the rear, the rear canopy hinges this way, it pulls the seat up like this. Okay, yeah. Huh. Uh, so it pulls the seat up and the canopy's out. Yeah. Uh, uh, here, there's, there's a, a photo. That'll give you a better idea. When the rear canopy comes up, it pulls the seat up with it. Oh, I mean, cool. you can get in and out that way. Because this car, you laid down in this car. Yeah. It was low. That is cool. If it was sitting in a room and it was dark, you'd trip oh. over it. There's the engine right there. Yes. Has that got a little display to put it in? or? Yeah. Really? You can either put it in the car, or you can put it in a display case. That is cool. Uh, I always put it in the car when I built it. I think I built a couple of these as a kid. Yeah. Uh, there's not much detail, and of course they come with plastic tires. Plastic tires. And you get your option of, of a mag wheel. Oh yeah, well I'd look good with mag wheels. Or, uh, you know, the, the, the caps. Yeah, the mag wheels look a lot better, don't they? Eh, I don't know. I guess so. The original car came this way. Yeah. But, uh, uh, well, you got enough there to build a couple of them. Well, I've got enough to build one at least. Uh, well, I've actually got enough to build two if I, if I build the, the old kit. Yeah. And what I understand, this tooling no longer exists. Yeah. So that's why I've kept this one this way. For so long. And bought built-ups and parts. To build and they're few and far between. You don't see, you don't see these very often. But mm -hmm. anyway, this is uh, this is one of my restorations that's been stalled for 15 years. Fucking or finish it! I know that's always what I hear from you. Finish it! Finish it! Finish it! Well, I, I do. I probably will finish a lot of these before I'm finished. But, uh, All right, guys, you hear that? If he don't finish them, I'm going to finish them when he's dead. <laughs> well, you don't have to be the one that does it because uh, uh, I've got grandkids that don't give a rat's ass about this stuff. Yeah. Don't even look twice at it. Ain't that uh, sad how kids are these days? They don't care. They don't care about stuff uh, like this. You know, I've got 31 Tonka trucks around here. They could care less if they ever saw them again. That's crazy. They don't care anything about the Matchbox cars. They don't even look at this twice. <laughs> and the way my daughter is, when I die, all this will end up in the dumpster <laughs> if somebody like you don't come along and get it. Yeah, you dang sure make sure it is. I get it before she does that. <laughs> well, uh, you know, if you croak before I do, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Well, my son. Yeah, I guess he would want to have to step oh, in because yeah. uh, he's the only one that knows anything about it other than anybody that's, else. That's where all my stuff's going. He... He he loves the models. He's he's always loved my models. He's not he's not much of a a builder much, but you know he's got a lot of things always going on that he ain't had time. But he's gonna have to sit down for too long and get get to building some stuff. Well, th this little car, this would be fun. I, I guess I really ought to. You finish ought to it. finish it. That is cool looking. Uh, you don't see them. No. Uh, you don't see them anywhere. I mean, I've got. I need to polish on that glass a little bit because yeah. this one's pretty much toast. Yeah, that and it. You know, I've never seen these cars until you introduced it to me years ago. I never <laughs> even knew what the hell it was, you know. There's uh, some glass goes in the side there. 
that I don't have. So I'll probably have to make that. Yeah. Or keep looking and maybe find it somewhere. I don't know. But that's another little piece of history nobody sees often. So uh, well, that's, that's, there you go, guys. That's something else for you to look at. And something for you to look at at the swap meets. But I don't think you're going to find one. Yeah. And if you do, mortgage the house. <laughs> All right, George. Thank you. All righty. Uh, this is going to be it for this video. Uh, and we'll... You know, I got more stuff to talk with George about uh, about every other Monday. All right, guys. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.